everybody, I'm back and I'm going to do a video now about um, religions and how they all have truth to them. So there's so much fighting and back and forth about religions and how some people think their religion is the, the true religion that should be followed and practiced. And then others don't. There's so much fighting in the world about religions. Now, my view on it is, is that you can follow any religion that you'd like to, as long as it's leading you more into, you know, the truth. That is yourself. That is, you know, everything. And if you're finding that it's bringing you... Um, you know, uplifting vibrations, if it's helping you to feel better and understand who you are at a spiritual level, then it's great. And I think that all religions have truths to them. All religions have beautiful aspects to them that, if followed, can bring us great results in a spiritual way. <clears throat> I have studied a lot of different religions, um, you know, both in school and just regularly on my own. I'm really interested in anything um, that has to do with spirituality. And in, you know, my travels and throughout the years, I've met lots of people who are in certain specific religions and they don't necessarily agree with <clears throat> other religions. And so this creates automatically a tension and a stress and a, a, you kind of have a, a feeling towards like, you know, if, if people don't see things the way that you see them, then, you know, they're going to, um, you know, well, in the Christian religion, they're going to, you know, burn in hell, I guess. Well, you guys, just to let you know, this is hell here in in some ways, half of the time, and then half of the time it's heaven, okay? So, and that all, do, that all has to do with how our mind is feeling at the time, how we are feeling within, you know, whether it's heaven or hell, actually. But most of the time, it is difficult here, just to um, say, and... Um, you know, to, to say that people are going to go to hell if they don't practice a certain religion is completely ridiculous. Um, and I'll be the first one to say that. Now, um, but there's beautiful truths in Christianity. There's beautiful truths in Buddhism. There's beautiful truths in all religions. And the most beautiful truth is the truth that you find within yourself about your own spiritual nature, about the spiritual nature of the world, about um, everything and how it's all connected and it's all it's it's all connected in, in unity. And so we've all got to learn to come together, to bring all of our thoughts together and nobody's right or wrong. So we cannot accuse other people of being wrong in what they believe in and you know tell them that what they feel is not okay you know and therefore you know it backfires on that person and brings them a lot of that um, angry energy that they're sending out to others saying you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong now on your spiritual path you probably will think many different things you know you'll be into this and then you'll be into that and then you know Things change, things evolve, you learn more about yourself, you learn more about your own soul and your own path, and therefore you change. But when you get rigid and you get stuck in a particular religion and everybody's wrong except for you, then that shows you that something needs to kind of change in your spiritual practice. So, for, for instance... Okay, so I went to this meditation retreat, and it's primarily based in Buddhism. Now, I believe in certain aspects of, 
of Buddhism, okay? I do not take the whole religion and everything in its entirety to heart and say this is the way that I believe. I use my brain and I'm like, well, okay, that makes sense. And that's a useful tool to help me to get to know myself better and help me help others more. And that's how I take everything in. I'm like, okay, is this a useful tool? Yes. So, um, but they have other things there that I don't necessarily believe in. Like, um, they definitely believe in reincarnation. Now, I'm not saying I don't believe in reincarnation. I just know that I've never been to Earth before. This is not, I've never been here before. And I know I've never been reincarnated on this planet before. Um, so, for me, personally, I don't remember being here at all. And um, so, but that's going to be different. For everybody, I've had lots of friends who've had past lives, and they totally believe in them, and they know that they've had them. And so, you know, so in that perspective, I, I'm like, oh, well, I totally believe that they've been here before. But for me personally, I haven't. So in every religion, there has to be room for people that maybe haven't been reincarnated before or... You know, there's always room for, you know, there's the, there's exceptions. There's nothing is ever rigid, you know, cut and dry. This is the way it is. But on the other hand, certain disciplines, certain, um, you know, techniques used in spiritual practices can be very helpful for you to discover yourself more fully, for you to calm down, for you to get in tune with spirit. So having practices or rituals or prayer or whatever you want to call it in order for you to um, get more centered in yourself and in your with your soul, your higher self, then you, you know, you would use these practices. And um, So discipline is a really, really important, important tool that um, lots of religions um, use. So, you know, like this Buddhist retreat thing where I had to sit for 12 hours a day, like, you know, in meditation, that's, that's horrific. Like, wow, that's strict discipline. And... I hated it at first, but then I realized the benefits of it. It was so deeply, deeply healing, and now I can't wait to do it again. And I was thinking, oh, I'm never coming back here ever, ever. Note to self, never do this again. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But then I see the benefits of it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going back. So, you know, we need to be open-hearted. And we need to be understanding of other people's religious views. We do not have to take on that which we do not believe in our heart to be true. So don't do it. Learn different things and then go within and say, hmm, does that sound right? Like really within my the deepest part of myself, does that, does that sound true for me and my life and my experience here? and then make a decision. But like I said earlier too, you may change and you may you know, grow and you may decide that you like this particular religion or you like this particular path or you just wanna be on your own path and you don't believe in anything. But what I do know is that spirit does exist and there is something greater than what we see in this physical body. And I'm positive of that. Um, and I came here knowing that. Now, if I look at my astrological chart, I probably think it's because I have a south node in Pisces. But I don't know why. I just know for a fact that the spiritual energy is very, very, very real. And you put it into a little box and say it's this or that or this religion or that religion, you know, maybe helpful in 
certain ways for disciplinary purposes or to keep you on the path, it becomes harmful when we start accusing people of not practicing um, the correct spiritual, you know, practice or religion. So we should be really mindful that other people are not going to think like we think. And we need to be understanding, compassionate, and loving towards everyone and everybody's views. Everybody's on a different wavelength, a different path right now. You know, and they're learning what they need to learn right now. So let them learn that, and then they'll learn the next thing. Don't accuse them of being the, on the wrong path. The only time that I would say something was wrong is if you're if you're literally being mean to someone and you're saying you know something that they're doing is wrong or incorrect nothing anyone does as long as it's in you know either neutral either in a neutral sense or in a loving sense is ever wrong so if someone's doing something and it's not hurting anyone they're if they're not wrong that's where they're at that's how they feel and everybody is right and everyone has that right so we need to kind of you know just Love everyone and be, you know, what we are and be happy in that and be understanding that everyone is where they're at. And that's okay. And that's perfect. So um, I think that's all I have to say, that all religions have truth and all of us can come together in unity consciousness and really, you know, um, start connecting and being kind and loving to one another and start creating heaven on earth. Because that's what I hope to um, have happen someday. And that is my my main goal. And I know that's a big job. But I'm going to be helping to make that happen. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you'd like to contact me, you can go on my website, which is below the video. Or if you'd like to schedule a spiritual guidance session, you can also go on my website under spiritual services. And um, the directions to do that will be there. I hope you all have a beautiful and magical day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.